Now, what are the, some of the symptoms that people have of congestive heart failure? Congestive heart failure, this is the inability of the heart to pump appropriately to meet the body's demands. You can have it due to the heart not squeezing appropriately. This is systolic heart failure. You can have it due to the heart not relaxing things back up. This is known as diastolic heart failure. What is one of the biggest symptoms of heart failure? Shortness of breath. People have issues sleeping, especially at nighttime. They wake up coughing. They wake up gasping for air. This is known as orthopnea. So they know that at nighttime they get pretty nervous. They start changing their lifestyle a little bit. They start sleeping in a recliner, sleeping in a different room um, so that their spouse doesn't see that they're struggling to breathe. Other symptoms, they can have leg swelling known as pitting edema. They can have abdominal swelling. This can also lead to, both of them can lead to weight gain. So weight gain is going to be one of the biggest ones. A lot of the patients will complain of weight gain despite um, watching what they're eating despite following a, an appropriate diet. They can have a cough because of the fluid backing up into the lungs. They can have abnormal labs such as their liver enzymes being elevated, um, their um, BMP being elevated as the heart becomes stretched, as the heart starts functioning appropriately, it will um, leak an enzyme called um, BNP, anti pro BNP. So we use all of this, especially with the history and physical to make the diagnosis because if we think someone is having heart failure, we get an to send the heart to first see how well their heart is squeezing. If the heart's not squeezing appropriately, we have to rule out the most common cause, which is systolic heart failure secondary to coronary disease or blockage. So we'll do a heart catheterization, and that basically starts off um, the process of, of working them out. If the heart catheterization is, is normal, then we have to look at other potential uh, risk factors, things like high blood pressure, uh, sleep apnea, underlying other medical issues that is affecting the heart.